Right, this is the um, toll road. You have to pay to use it right now. You're in risk. Looks like it wasn't well, been here before. I've just met a lady who I, she didn't realise, but I did see her the other day on um, Beacon Hill. Um, she, I think she'd done the rough route. She's, well, she's going to be 40 years younger than me, isn't she? Uh, yeah, if, if, uh, I don't know what country she's from, but uh, she's got all the proper gear on. Oh, both sticks. Yeah, everyone's told me there will be a section of um, strenuous climb with steps. Then it flattens off. So, I think I can probably cope with that and I'll be coming back down. That's what you think of. And it's like she said, you've got the views. So I'm doing a small video and I shall be stopping the video. I'll be doing photos. But as this starts to get steep, I won't be having it on. Okay? But there's some lovely views. I'm just going to take my time. These people have been telling me it takes about half an hour. So. But then they're going at their pace, see? Young and fit. Look at that. This isn't even the start yet. Over and out. See you when I'm at the top. Right. I'm nowhere near doing the strenuous bit yet. Nowhere near. I think it's a long way off. It'll probably be half an hour away before I got to do that. I'm going through some old tunnel. I mean, I used to say that this was on an old railway track or something once. It will be in the booklet, I think. It's quite dark here. That could have been an old road or something leading across the top there. It will be in the booklet, I'm sure of it. Feels like an old railway tunnel. God, there's more stuff up here. Looks like a castle. It's all part of a private estate, I think. Right, just turn off for a minute. I haven't got the energy to go back and do that bit again. Right, so I'm going to look it up in the booklet in a minute. What this, uh, this is part of that estate which has got its own private toll road that people can pay to go through. Um, just got to put my glasses back on again a minute. Right, this used to be called Ashcombe, a lot of it's all crumbled away now, but there are some really interesting 18th century garden features and follies. Apparently it's all walled off so that the peasants couldn't be seen. Even the people delivering the food, service personnel, they weren't called that of course, could also not, they'd have the back entrance as they say. I just met someone who gave me a bit of information and they've got some sort of garden party this weekend. Apparently, because of lots of landslides, because of lots of landslides, 
they've had to do diversions and lots of features have disappeared as well or they're hidden in the undergrowth like something I see here or is that a tree that could be a tree who knows where that goes but the church you notice that uh, got this pop up no one's telling you where that goes Coldburn Church oh I've got to go down and up again I spat I don't know it didn't some people say it takes them about 20 minutes others say 40 and somebody just told me an hour and a half I'm just again videoing a little bit so that you can see the sort of walks I'm doing. This is really one of those old English gardens that was landscaped um, with lots of different plants, trees, shrubs and I don't know whether the original house or anything still exists. I'm going to look it all up. It was called Ashcombe. It might just have been one of them that fell into dis disuse. But it, when I ever think about places like this, I've got to think of my ancestors, um, the Isaacsons and the uh, Stutfields, and maybe the Hassles to a certain extent, not so much so. But later they did, yeah, when they went to Cumbria, they became landed gentry and with the mansion. I've been up there a few times. We're now coming onto a little bit of a flat, but I don't know whether there's more steps to go up again, though. If people keep telling me it's strenuous, I found the first walk. But maybe I've got to climb right up there yet. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the strenuous bit hasn't started yet. But there's plenty of benches. You can imagine the landed gentry though, can't you, in the 18th century walking around here with the, the women with their long dresses and bonnets and maybe the, ma the, the man on a horse or even that there might have even been carriages. So I'm, I'm walking in, in, in the footsteps of people from two, three hundred years ago. I have to look it up now. There's the beach down there. There's the beach. I mean, at the moment, this doesn't seem too bad. It's sort of a, a steep bit going up. Those steps were steep, it's true. But it could be that there's more steps. <coughs> I mean, it's nice for me to know that it's a bit of both here. <sighs> Just going to turn off a minute.